Hey guys, what is up? It's Andy here, back at you with another video. And today I wanted to show you uh, a little bit more about how I manage uh, take a lot and the tools I use to manage take a lot and specifically how I use take a lot's API with Google Sheets. So a lot of experts out there might be like saying Google Sheets isn't a great place to, you know, to do all of these things. But I mean, for me as a sort of like a you know, I'm quite a layman when it comes to uh, these kind of technical uh, things that, you know, I don't have a, a formal IT background, so I've got to use, uh, I've got a MacGyver where I can. And basically Google Sheets works perfectly for me because it already connects with things like Zapier, it connects with my website, it connects with my accounting system, um, Zero. So everything is pretty handy to have in Sheets. Um, and it takes away a lot of the necessary, like any extra programming or things like that. So anyway, I'm gonna just quickly show you how to uh, uh, set up a, a take light API in your Google Sheets. But basically, if you don't know what this means, it sort of means you can basically pull any of the information from take lot or post it. I haven't figured that, that out yet, but I'm gonna show you how to get all of your sales data into this uh, spreadsheet over here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, use a plugin on Google Sheets. Then we're going to run a, a get um, API, which is going to go go to take a lot. It's going to get that information and bring it back into Google Sheets. And um, yeah, I'm going to explain that whole process now. Okay, so getting into it, uh, as you can see, we've I've just got a spreadsheet set up over here. Um, I'm going to go to add-ons, and you need something called API Connector. Uh, I'm gonna have a link below if you want to install it. And uh, it's a pretty cool plugin, it's free to use. And if you want to do the automations, I think it's something like 19 or $20, $29 a month, um, which means that you can then have this thing run. Uh, it runs all the time. So anyway, you can open it up, uh, install it, open it up. And over here you have requests, and then you can say add new. Then at this point, uh, it automatically, you you know, these are the different methods of API. We're gonna use a get, because we're getting the data. Um, and then the API, API URL path, that's going to come from uh, this screen over here. Uh, it's basically from the seller portal on TakeLot, it gives you all of these different API uh, endpoints and uh, I'll paste this link below as well, just so you can come directly here. You will have to log in. Uh, but here you can see view sales, uh, get, and these are the different, uh, this just helps you set up that URL. Uh, version, uh, it's version one. Uh, that's I got stuck on that when I was figuring all of this out. Filters, I'll show you a filter um, in a sec after I've just gone through the basic setup. Page number, uh, you can leave that, and page size, you can leave that. It's gonna basically bring back uh, one and 100 by default. So when I click Execute, it gives, let's just get rid of that, Execute. There it's got your request URL. So I'll copy that. Wrong sheet. Uh, paste that into there. Then your key is also going to come from your seller portal. And you copy this and you paste it in here, except you've got to say key and then you paste it. And then over here under key, you say authorization. Authorization destination sheet you set to set current and you can name this as get sales uh, API and then output options I generally have been using the append option over here which means the next time it pulls it just puts it on top of that and then I filter it out with a unique formula uh, so just for uh, consistency, I guess I'll do it with a pen. And if everything's right, then we should just be able to run it. 
Uh, so I'll just save and then run that. It should fetch all of the data we need. There you have it. So everything just comes in. Uh, it's only going to bring in a hundred lines and one row. I've just got everything obviously blurred out for um, for sanctity of the data or whatever because um, it is it is live data that I'm using and then yeah basically that's gonna have all your things in and then you can also set your API connector to schedule uh, and then you could add a new schedule select the API and then you get that to run every three hours and then you call it API run every three hours and then every three hours, it's going to get the neck, the the hundred most recent orders. I've not found a way to get it to bring all of the orders. Um, I don't know if that would be possible because some people are doing like thousands of orders a day. If you guys know, maybe that would be cool just to to let me know. Um, yeah, it's basically limited at. If I put two, it'll bring page two of the orders. So I've got some things where I've got page one, page two, like for offers. But I'm sure there's an easier way of doing that. But anyway, from here, you can do anything that you could do in Google Sheets is um, reports, charts. Uh, there's other plugins with mail mergers. Um, you can export and import to your accounting systems, download a CSV. You might have to do a, um, like a programming sheet where you split the data into a more usable format. But yeah, otherwise, this is pretty cool uh, in terms of what I need. It helps me a lot. Just quickly, uh, before we go, yeah, that's fine. I'm going to show you how to just filter some of the data. Uh, so what we could do is go back to seller portal. These are all the different um, filters that you can use. It's also all here on terms and definitions under this uh, API thing. And for instance, we want to do sales status and then returned because that's a big part of take a lot, I guess, is the returns. Um, here, let's go to filters, add a filter, and this the format is this so uh, sale underscore status. And then that's going to be returned. Okay, so this should then work. And now we've got a new request URL. Copy that, paste it in here. Uh, I'm going to go to overwrite just so that it gets rid of this other data. And let's see if it runs. There we go. So now it's just got all the returns, obviously much less. Um, and yeah, that's that's significantly easier to do for me than to you know download all the sales and filter it and then bring it into another sheet. So for me, I've got all of these things set up, they automatically run and I can uh, create reports in Data Studio. I can do pretty much anything with this data. Uh, these, for instance, will feed straight into zero. And yeah, that helps me immensely keeping up with the sort of sheer volume of, of uh, take lots sort of sales and whatnot. So yeah, guys, that was pretty much <laughs> uh, my entire knowledge on APIs. Don't ask to anything more complicated than that because I'm not an expert either. Uh, I'm still figuring this out. Um, yeah, so if you guys have any cool bits of information just drop them in the comments and if you guys learned anything just make sure to like and subscribe uh, it goes a long way and yeah uh, suggestions on other videos you want uh, you can also just put in the comments below till next week guys peace